Hey everyone, what's up? This is Blaze. Welcome to a new Wizard 101 video. So today on Wizard 101's Twitter, they said that the Mammoth Mini, which Blue, Lewis, and I, and I think Nick was even in that one, were farming for the Mammoth Mini in the Borealis Peaks. And it's kind of easier. At first, we thought that you had to defeat every single boss to get to the actual moose boss that drops the mountain, but you can actually skip them. And it's still a low chance that this mount is dropped, and that's the only boss that drops this mount. So now it's available in the crown shop. However, it does come at a price. 9,000 crowns for the Mammoth Mini permanent mount. But this mount for me is one that I've wanted for a while. I feel like we farmed it a good amount. Like, honestly, even four of us were farming it like multiple times and none of us got it so it's kind of rare and i am glad that they put it in the crown shop however it is you know it's still nine thousand crowns for you know people to buy this instead of farming for it so for me it's definitely one that i want with the two percent outgoing it'll be a good amount to have on my life character because on my life i don't really have a mount with stats that i use just all the time like, on my Storm, I always use the Narwhal Mount because it gives the 2% more damage. I now have the Waddling Witch Chest, so I could use that one for a Power Pip. But I think the Outgoing is going to be the best one for now on my life character. So, that'll be a good one to have. It's just a good mount that I wanted for a while, so we can finally buy it today. 9,000 crowns, rip. Time to buy it. Boom. We're going to instantly lock this and equip it. Mammoth Mini. I remember this mount in Test Run when people found it because there's just people that got lucky and, you know, got it like the first time, their first run through the Borealis Peaks. They were able to get the Mammoth Mini. And it's a really awesome mount. I like it. It'd be cool if they had like this one and then they had like a larger version later. Or something like that. Like maybe a two person, like larger Mammoth mount. Because it's a mini Mammoth. I mean, they could make a larger Mammoth at some point. Maybe different colors, but yeah, I really like it. Let's see what his jump is. There it is. It has a good jump, as we kind of lag. Yeah, I do I do like his jump. Let's see what it does when it kind of just stands here. Because this mount actually was kind of rare. I haven't seen too many people have it. And it's because you do have to farm for it or just get lucky. And when you <laughs> do your first run through the peaks, you just kind of have to get lucky and, and get it. But look at its eyes. Let's zoom in. It's kind of like the head sway and moves its feet a little bit. Does it do anything? Does it do anything when you're not moving? I don't know. Hopefully it does it at some point in this video. Because it doesn't feel like doing it right now. But yeah, we finally got it. 2% more outgoing. I need to turn on this. 2% more outgoing. Let's have a look at that. And there it is on the bottom from the Mammoth Mini. But yeah, really happy to get this one. I'll probably be using it. A lot on my life character at least but it's not gonna be like my default one just for like running around is gonna be my wolf and then my one for battles it's gonna be the Mimi Mi Mimi Mammoth <laughs> we got the Mimi Mammoth guys yeah Mimi Mammoth pretty cool mount now available in the crown shop for a hefty price however it's it basically comes down to do you want to spend the time farming for possibly a while possibly you could you know never even get it or you know just just spend crowns to buy it so that's kind of how it works with this one but it's the same way with like a lot of other stuff in the crown shop if you think about it like EMPs you could farm for them or you could buy them so and like there's there's other seeds and other things that are like that I mean packs obviously aren't like that because you can only get them from there but at least for jewels now it was like that you know with jewel packs now you can just spend money spend the crowns I guess which is kind of money to get the jewel packs or farm for jewels which Probably was one of the worst things I ever did in this game was farming for jewels. Like, that was probably the biggest struggle. Biggest farming struggle. So, that is going to do it for this video. Leave a like for the awesome mini mammoth. With his blue eyes and his, like, swaying head and tusks. I see, like, multiple tusks going on. Well, they're kind of, like, they're kind of, like, tied. There's kind of, like, more, like, spikes. No, it's, like, wooden spikes tied to it. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. That's the mini mammoth. So, leave a like for that if you guys have enjoyed it. Hope you also enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time.